Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create an awesome, mind-blowing perspective bending effect reminiscent of images seen in the 2010 movie Inception. I provided this image that you can download so you can follow along. Its link is in my video's description below or project files. Before we begin, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, click that small subscribe button at the lower right corner to let you know as soon as I've uploaded new Photoshop tutorials. The first step is to convert the image into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right corner and click Convert to Smart Object. Next, we want to duplicate the smart object but not link it to the original. Whenever you duplicate a smart object, whatever changes you make to one will be automatically repeated in the other. However, if you want to make changes to one and not affect the other, then we need to create an unlinked copy of it. To create an unlinked copy, you can either right click or secondary click the layer and click New Smart Object via Copy or go to Layer, Smart Objects and New Smart Object via Copy. Go to Edit, Transform and rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Then go back to Edit, Transform and Flip Vertical. Go to View and make sure Snap is checked. If it isn't, just click it. To make this effect work correctly, the bottom right corner of your top image needs to be flush with the bottom right corner of your document. This image happens to be square, so it's already flush with all four corners. However, if you're using a rectangular photo, first make sure your Move tool is active. If it isn't, press V on your keyboard. Then drag it so it snaps to the lower right corner. It'll snap in place because we have Snap checked. Open your Pen tool and place your cursor outside the lower right corner. Click once. Place your cursor outside the upper left corner and click once to draw the diagonal path. To reposition a path so it crosses directly over the top corner, press and hold Control or Command as you drag the end point of the path. Repeat this for the lower path. Go outside the lower left corner and click once. Complete the path by hovering your cursor over the start point of the path at the lower right corner, and when you see a small circular icon next to your tool, it's letting us know that if you click, it'll close the path. Place your cursor directly on the path, and right click or secondary click to open the flyout list. Click Make Selection. Make the radius 0.5 pixels. This softens our selection slightly, which will give it a more realistic edge. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. I'd like to remove the boats that are mirrored on the vertical copy. To do this, double-click the thumbnail of the vertical copy to open its source image. Open your Spot Healing Brush. These are the three boats that appear on the vertical image that we want to remove. The size of our spot healing brush should be a bit larger than the boat we want to remove. To adjust the size of the brush, make sure your caps lock key is off and press the left or right bracket key on your keyboard. Then simply brush over the boat. Close the tab of the smart object which is the .psb file. And when you see this message, click Yes to save the changes. Notice those boats are gone in the mirrored copy, but remain visible on the original smart object. The reason for this is because we saved the vertical copy as a smart object via copy, which, if you remember, is not linked to the original smart object. This allows us to make changes to one without affecting the other. Next, 
we're going to add a soft dark shadow across the inside edge of the vertical image. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer and change its blend mode to Soft Light and its opacity to 50%. Control click or command click the layer mask to make a selection of it. Open your brush tool and pick a soft round brush. Make its size 1400 pixels, its hardness 0% and its opacity and flow 100%. Place the brush just outside the selection, approximately here, and carefully brush down the edge of the selection at a slight angle. The angle of your stroke should be about like this. Then deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. There may be a bit of black on the sky left from the stroke. To remove it, go to the layer mask and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag a copy of it next to the shadow. Then make the layer mask active. Place your brush at the corner and carefully brush over it to mask out any of the black that remained on the sky. It's finished at this point, however, if you'd like to crop it, I'll show you how. Shift click the bottom layer to highlight all the layers and convert them into one smart object. Open your crop tool. I'll crop it to 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch, but feel free to crop it any way you like. Press Enter or Return and drag your image. I want to trim off a bit on the left and on the bottom, so I'll drag the lower left in. To accept it, I'll click the check mark at the top. To fit it back onto your canvas, Press Ctrl or Command Zero. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.